So I doubt in 1800, Alessandro Volta would ever imagine that he started something pretty amazing, being able to illuminate light in your house through electricity. Now, Thomas Edison, who had patented the light bulb in 1879 here in America, um, actually in New York, he came up with an idea where you would have, have a filament inside, those little metal things inside. But it took years for them to perfect it, but it started back in the 1800s. So Thomas Edison teamed up with Mr. Swan and came up with General Electric. But eventually the need for lighting had advanced and required more studies to find different materials to use because the materials were expensive and they, they burned out real fast. They weren't efficient. So they had to come up with an idea in modern times where the light bulbs would last longer because it was a waste of material and it was expensive. So this is actually a filament inside of an LED and it's clear. This is an LED. This is basically what we have in our houses now. But I couldn't find a traditional light bulb similar to what patent or Thomas Edison had patented back in the 1800s. But this is pretty close to it. There's a wire inside and when the electric current passes through and touches this metal, it would conduct electricity and make it light. But I did find in my daughter's room, she uses the Christmas lights to decorate her room for light. And so recently she switched over to LED light as well because it doesn't burn as hot. But there is a tiny little filament in there. I don't know if you can focus on it, but it's in there. So what we're gonna actually do, we're going to draw a series of different shaped light bulbs, with different shaped glass, but we're gonna draw the filament inside and then we're gonna paint them using primary colors to make secondary colors and then we're gonna shade the metal. Let's put this aside. <clears throat> so let's start with our drawing. To, to start our light bulb, you can start with a pencil and then trace it with a Sharpie. Um, I'm not gonna fill the whole paper because we're gonna be spreading it out across the entire paper, going off all edges to make our design. It's kind of an abstract design. But if I start with the shape of a light bulb, round glass, you can come to a point if you want, straight across, but then we're gonna go out and that's gonna be the start for the metal. And then we're gonna go back across and then in. So we want it to kind of look like an accordion. Then out and back and in, across, out. And then we're just gonna add the bottom where it connects in the socket of your lamp, okay? Then what we're gonna then do is to create our filament, we're gonna make two lines coming up from the middle. One, two. I made the traditional, well, the one of the original light bulbs by Edison. This is like the Edison light bulb if you can see it. And it's a zigzag metal piece called a filament. I mean, it's actually a metal. But this metal was done with copper, um, aluminum. They tried different experiments. He even used wood. He also found that bamboo worked. So let's just make the traditional filament that goes in, up, in, and back up. It's just easier to draw. And then once you have one, why not turn your paper and let's overlap another shape. That could be your next glass, because these are glass and they have to be vacuumed shut so that oxygen doesn't blow out the, the heat or the light. The light is like the fire. If you blow on fire like a candle, you blow it out. So there's our filament. And then this is for the lamp. Okay, so you're gonna do that filling the whole paper, overlap, no more than two, I think, would be best. Turn your paper all different directions to make it interesting. So now I have my second one, or my third, I should say. Make my filament. 
turn that off. And then we go out and in. I can't believe I couldn't find any in my house. I guess we are using efficient light bulbs now in the Friends EC household. Okay, so I want you to do that and fill the whole paper. Have it even going off the edge of your paper. Maybe you can't see the metal, but you can see the filament. Just like that. Maybe going off this side as well. That's much more interesting than just fitting them neatly on the page. Maybe going off the page with the glass that's vacuum sealed so the oxygen doesn't get in to blow out the light. I don't want the metal to overlap anything. Let that kind of float in the space between, the negative space. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. So I have allowed time for the red and the yellow to dry completely. And what I'm gonna do now <clears throat> is add the third of the primary colors. And what is that? Blue, right. So I have fresh water now because I don't wanna contaminate the blue. And you just put a little bit of water on the cake. You're not gonna be digging, okay? You're gonna make your paint, the cake is dry. Once it's activated with water, then it's paint. Now you're gonna do one pass over where there's overlapping and you'll get to make your secondary color. And then you can do more coats on the pure color, blue. See, I've made green there. I go around on the other side, purple. Just made secondary colors. So I'm gonna do that on each of, oops, on each of my light bulbs. Once it's dry, I'll do a second coat in the space where it's just blue. Okay, for the final step, we're gonna use a light bulb that I found in my house. Echo Smart, it's an LED, so you can't see the filament, but you can see where this connects to the power source. So what you can notice is the metal goes in and out like an accordion, and there's a highlight and there's different values of shade, but underneath each little shelf, we'll call it, there's contrast and to get that, it's darker. So you have dark light, dark light, dark light all the way down. I'm gonna use the time lapse to show you how. <laughs> 